the criminal justice system isn't the only avenue that we can use to go after racists. Yeah, we got the we got the uh, civil process too. Mm. And uh, word comes that uh, <clears throat> the Unite the Right thing back in 2017, that a bunch of those defendants, the racists, have been sued for organizing that and spreading hate. Yeah. Oh, uh, Richard Spencer, the neo-Nazi, <laughs> racist skinhead, whatever the hell he is. Well, he's a, got his ass into a uh, bunch of freaking trouble. Find out that uh, <clears throat> old Richard doesn't like being in the civil courts. He says that he's uh, he's broke. That uh, he's down now to uh, representing himself because he can't pay attorneys. He, he's got nothing. He's he's broke. And of course, he wants to he wants us to cry about that, but we're not crying. We're thinking, yeah. Yeah, exactly what the fuck you need. That's what we ought to do with all the damn racists. Sue the piss out of them. Once the criminal justice system's done with them, yeah, we go after their uh, bank account. And uh, a guy like old Richard Spencer, noted racist, yeah, uh, if he's not put in a penitentiary, then uh, he can live homeless on the damn street because he's got no damn money. Because we've taken all of his damn money. But, oh yeah, that day in Charlotte, Charlottesville, he was uh, he was so full of himself because he had all his racist buddies around and he was telling them what they wanted to hear and what they expected out of him and all, oh, they felt good. Oh, it was such a great time for the racists. Oh, it was a great time for them. They, they just loved that because, uh, you know, they was putting it in our face. Mm-hmm. Seems like uh, somebody's in old Richard's face now. <laughs> They're suing that motherfucker till he's damn broke that he's going to have to go into court representing himself. And that's good for us. That's good for us. Because uh, anybody who represents themselves has got a fool for a client. And, uh, you know, when you're a racist fool, yeah, you ought to go in there with your pants down and start taking a butt whooping. That's what we do to those uh, damn racists. And uh, all the organizers of the January 6th thing, yeah, they're, they're going to be facing uh, civil lawsuits too for organizing it. You see the police officers there that day, the ones that were maimed and killed. Oh, yeah, they got a great case. <laughs> they got a great case. They go after all them bastards. Take their freaking pension take their milk money, <laughs> like on the school ground, take their freaking milk money because they're a damn racist. But you say that's who old Dougie Dakota identifies with as the racist. So we could go after old Dougie too for being a damn racist. But <clears throat> I don't think old Dougie likes lawsuits too much because old Dougie said he was going to sue me and I still hadn't seen a damn thing. <laughs> old Dougie probably don't have any money. Because after uh, at the end of the month, when uh, when his two or three socialism check hits, probably the last week of the month is kind of hard on Dougie. He doesn't have a whole lot of money yet left over, so he's waiting for the third of the month. So then uh, the government gave him a little bit more money, and all the time old Dougie's screaming about socialism. But that's what we do to racists, and you know, uh, there's uh, there's plenty of precedent. Of course, Dougie says, what's precedent? Don't you mean president? No, I mean precedent. <laughs> Two separate words there, Dougie, you ignorant fuck. But <clears throat> it's uh, it's been done before. Yeah, uh, people suing uh, civilly for damages. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, it's tried and true method. That's what we're going to do with them, you know, after... Uh, after everything comes out, there's going to be all kinds of freaking lawsuits out there for the people that organized that January the 6th. It's like old Trump, you know, he's got, what, 22 lawsuits against him now? He had to sit for a deposition the other day. 
Yeah, he's not done. <laughs> and that's one motherfucker needs to be broke. He needs to be living on the freaking street, or better yet, in a federal penitentiary for trying to overthrow our government. That, that's where they need to be. But once we get him locked up, he still has assets that we can go after. <laughs> and uh, from what I hear, there's plenty of people after his freaking money. Yep. <clears throat> that's what we do to racists there, Dougie. Yeah, you go out there and have fun and spew your damn racism, but, you know, you take the next step, we we uh, bankrupt your stupid ass. But old Dougie Cody, he, uh, he kind of hides that racism in so many words, but, you know, his clown posse picks right up on it that they, they know old Dougie's uh, getting cold words for racism, but they're too stupid to understand, you know, when we hear Dougie talk, we, we know the code words too. We know the code words too there, Dougie. <laughs> we know you're a fucking racist. Oh, yeah, just like old Richard Spencer. Gonna be living on the fucking street because he ain't got no damn money. Get him a little cardboard sign, set out on the corner, said, oh, please help me, I'm homeless. I'm homeless, give me a little bit of money. <laughs> That's what we ought to do, those racists. Just put them out there on the damn street corner with a with a cardboard sign. Yeah, beg your freaking money. And then when somebody stops to give a little bunny, have a guy standing there say, "Hey, uh, didn't you lose that uh, civil suit? So any assets you have are now ours. So hand the money over." <laughs> Well, that's what we ought to do to racists. We just hound them motherfuckers. Just hound their fucking asses. Like old Dougie the Cody. Just hound his fucking ass. Old Dougie running around like he's such a he-man. No, nah, you're just a fucking racist, Dougie. We all know it. Hell, even you know it. Hell, even you even talk about it. Usually when you open your mouth, it's about white supremacy. You don't like those other people voting. Mmm, that's old Dougie for you. He's too fucking stupid to know he's stupid. <laughs> but, you know, Dougie, sooner or later, we're going to get you. Sooner or later, Dougie, we're going to get you. You're going to make one wrong freaking move, and you're going to be had. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that's how that shit works, Dougie. <laughs> Civil suit, Dougie. Except, you know, he won't come after me for some reason, because, you know, why he's... He's a freaking coward racist. <laughs> You're a racist motherfucker, Doug Cody. You want to sue me about it? Go right the fuck head. <laughs> I'll get it to where you're representing yourself in court because you ain't got no fucking money because I'll work your fucking attorney's ass to death. Mm, that's how that works, Dougie. <laughs> that's how that works, Dougie. Dumbass. <laughs>